Homeroom Guidance Grade 4, Part 1, Module 3 Gabay sa magulang o tagapag-alaga Isinulat ang module na ito upang gabayan ang mag-aaral na linangin ang kanyang aspektong akademiko. Ginawa ito para sa distance learning o alternatibong pamamaraan ng pagkatuto na hindi nangangailangan ng pisikal na presensya sa paaralan bilang tugon sa direktiba na pagkansila ng face-to-face -face class dulot ng pandemyang COVID-19. Makatutulong ang araling ito upang mahubog ang kanyang pagpapahalaga at responsibilidad sa kanyang pag-aaral. Higit pa sa inaasahang gawain pampaaralan ang dapat niya isagawa kaakibat ng pagbabago sa pamamaraan ng pagkatuto na ipinatutupad sa kasalukuyang panahon. Dahil dito, mahalagang malinang ng mag-aaral ang kanyang mga pansariling kakayahan sa pagkatuto upang may sagawa ang pang-araw-araw na gawain pampaaralan. Maaaring may mga pagkakataong humingi ng tulong ang mag-aaral sa pagsunod sa mga tagubilin at pagsagot sa mga tanong sa bawat pahagi ng mga gawain. Hinihiling ng kagawaran ang inyong suporta at pakikiisa sa mga sumusunod. Una, tiyakin na sasagutin ng mag-aaral ang bawat gawain ng tapat. Ikalawa, Siguraduhin maipapasa ng mag-aaral ang mga nakasaad na gawain ayon sa ibinigay na gabay at itinakdang pecha ng kanyang gurong tagapayo. At ikatlo, makipag-ugnayan sa paaralan tungkol sa anumang suliraning may kaugnayan sa pagkatuto ng inyong mga anak. Learning Objectives At the end of this module, you are expected to First, identify the advantages of effective study habits. Two, value the importance of the ability to study independently. And three, create a personal study plan. This module is for week 7 of first quarter with a suggested total time allotment of 60 minutes or 1 hour. Materials needed, worksheet or blank paper, coloring materials, pen or pencil. For our introduction, your journey as a learner is different from the journey of your classmates. Every learner has a unique way of measuring success. Some may feel successful when they get perfect attendance. Some may think that success means having medals and awards. Beyond all recognitions, you need to understand that school success depends on the study habits you develop over time. As a grade school learner, it is never too late for you to improve your study habits. Let this module guide you in your journey towards a successful and enjoyable school life. This will focus on helping you develop effective study habits and become an independent learner. Moreover, you will also learn to develop a positive attitude that will help you with every difficulty that you may encounter as you continue to learn improve, strive hard, and prioritize your studies. Have fun learning! Before we start, let's have a quick review. In the second module, which has the title Let's Earn Respect, you associated yourself with others. You have proven that you have the ability to give respect to others by simply allowing yourself to get along well with them. For our first activity, let's try this. It has a suggested time allotment of 10 minutes. What works for me? Each individual learns differently and has own style and preference of studying. To get the most out of your studying, it is important to understand what is effective for you and what is not. From the given list of study habits below, identify which of them works for you. Copy the table and put a check on the statements that applies to you. Answer the processing questions after. Here are the different study habits. Check the ones that applies for you. And answer the processing questions. 1. What did you discover about your study skills? 2. How can these skills help you in completing your school task? And 3. How can you improve your study skills? For the next activity, let's explore this. 
suggested time allotment is 15 minutes. Me and my study space. Your study space affects your ability to study effectively. Considering your current setup, one of the challenges that you need to consider is finding a good and comfortable place to study. 1. For this activity, draw an actual illustration of yourself working on your study space at home. 2. Consider the following while working on your illustration. A. What does your study area look like? B. Where is it located at your home? And C. What are the things that you use while studying? Use a short band paper and drawing materials. Answer the following processing questions. Write your answers on the same paper you used in the previous activity. 1. How do you feel while doing the activity? What are the things that you should improve on your study space? And 3. How will a good study space help you in studying? Keep in mind, suggested time allotment is 15 minutes. Ready? Accomplishing academic tasks is also a preparation to achieve your goals in life. In order to make this happen, you need to be ready with your plans and actions. In this current situation, you should take into consideration the tasks that are given to you and the specific output that is being required. Readiness is the key to accomplish the entire task assigned to you. Set It is important that you set your priorities and the time that you are going to spend in accomplishing each task. This will help you in managing your time and in focusing your attention to ensure that you deliver quality outputs. And go. To achieve academic success, you need to develop a sense of responsibility in your own learning. At an early age, you should develop your ability to study and learn independently. Try and apply the following study habits. Do the study plan. Set your study time or schedule, take down notes, understand your learning style, develop study space, you should avoid distractions, prepare all learning materials, let your studies be your focus, align your schedule to your priorities, and never give up on your goals. Practicing these study skills will greatly help you, especially in this time of pandemic. Your teacher and parent or guardian will be there to guide you in completing your school task. However, you should learn how to be more responsible in your own learning by doing your task independently. You got this! For the next activity, you can do it with the suggested time allotment of 10 minutes. Aside from having a good study space, creating a study plan is also an effective learning skill that may help you focus on your school activities. A study plan outlines your learning goals and ensures that you keep track on your task. Now you create your own study plan. Copy the following table on a piece of paper or use the worksheet if it is available. Examples are provided to guide you. Here is a sample. What I have learned. Suggested time allotment is 5 minutes. Complete the sentences below. Write your answers on a piece of paper. And for our last activity, share your thoughts and feelings with a suggested time allotment of 5 minutes. I am ready and set. Congratulations for going this far! Your last challenge for this module is to reflect on your own study habits. List down the A. Study habits that you identified to be effective for you that you want to continue doing. B. The study habits that you want to focus on improving. And C. Study habits that you have learned from this module that you want to practice. 
do this on a piece of paper.